11 Drinks You Should Never Drink After 40 It may be the most instantly gratifying pleasure known to humankind, that first cold, refreshing sip of your favorite beverage on a hot day. And when the weather turns cold? A beverage is still the fastest way to warm up the chill and turn your mood around. But as you get older, there are some drinks that once you're over the age of 40, it's best to steer clear of, see, while a drink may be the fastest way to quench your thirst or comfort a chill, it's also the fastest way to expand your waistline. Liquid calories account for a whopping 22% of our daily calorie intake, upwards of 350 calories every single day, which is more than twice as much as we drank 30 years ago. Simply cutting your drink calories in half could mean shaving off more than 18 pounds in just one year, an important statistic. Because losing weight becomes harder after age 40. We studied hundreds of popular drinks and compiled this essential list of the 40 drinks you should never drink after 40, so you stay lean for life, one sip at a time. But as you get older, there are some drinks that once you're over the age of 40, it's best to steer clear of. Simply cutting your drink calories in half could mean shaving off more than 18 pounds in just one year, an important statistic, because losing weight becomes harder after age 40. 1. Lemonade. For many of us, lemonade evokes memories of cute kids sitting at a stand at the end of their driveway. And while the littles pushing the drink may be innocent enough, the beverage itself is not, as it can be high in calories and sugar in just one cup. The only thing we like about this drink is its fairly harmless list of ingredients. While water, sugar, and lemon juice won't make you sick, drinking it in excess could bring on a metabolic condition that will. And don't even think about going for the Minute Maid stuff, as that version has a whopping 40 grams of sugar in just one 12-ounce can. 2. Tonic Water If you order a gin and tonic at the bar, thinking the clear mixer is better for your belly than dark sodas, think again. Just 12 ounces of tonic water can cost you 124 calories and 32 grams of sugar, that's only 7 grams less than soda for the same amount. 3. Supersized Coffees While a cup or two of coffee can do your body good, you may want to think twice before sizing up to a large or indulging in a fourth cup of joe. An adult can safely consume up to 400 mg of caffeine a day, which is equivalent to 4 8-ounce cups of coffee, but drinking any more than that can cause calcium excretion, which, over time, may lead to osteoporosis. 4. Soda what do artificial colors and fat-causing fake sugars all have in common? They're in your favorite diet fizzy drinks. Nearly all popular diet sodas contain aspartame, an artificial sweetener that was initially developed to aid weight loss but has been found to have the opposite effect. 5. Cocktails While whipping up a frozen marg at home isn't quite as bad as getting it from a bar, it's still the worst cocktail for your waistline ranging from 400 to 700 calories, depending on if you make the drink yourself at home or order it while you're out. Made with a sugar-spiked neon mix and tequila, the summer staple will overload your system with more sugar than you'd find in 9 Dunkin' Donuts Apple and Spice Donuts. Other frozen beverages aren't much better. Either. The average strawberry daiquiri, for example, has more than 200 calories and upward of 40 grams of sugar per serving. 6. Too much fruit juice. Sure, it's natural and overflowing with vitamin C, but it's loaded with sugar and totally void of any nutrients like fiber or protein to help slow the sugar spike. Water flavored with fresh slices of oranges, lemon, and grapefruit. For added benefits, keep the peels on. Citrus peels contain the antioxidant delimonene, a powerful compound that helps flush out stored visceral fat. 7. Skim Milk While skim milk may be lowest in calories, many of its vitamins are fat-soluble, which means you won't get all the benefits of the alphabetical nutrients listed on your cereal box unless you opt for at least 1%. Not only does it taste better and stay fresh longer, when the herds graze on grass instead of feed, their milk has higher levels of omega-3s and CLA, conjugated linoleic acid, a nutrient that boosts immunity, improves bone mass, 
and even reduces body fat, gotta love that. 8. Energy Drinks These overpriced chemical cocktails may give you a surge of energy, but they're riddled with harmful sweeteners, many of which made our list of these best and worst popular sweeteners, and are even more corrosive to your teeth than regular soda. Just say no to these drinks. 9. Protein Shakes Chugging a protein shake can be an easy way to refuel after a workout, but make sure you're not downing the wrong one. Many powders out there sneak in artificial sweeteners, chemical additives, and partially hydrogenated oils. Sift the good from the bad in our report on the best and worst protein powders, 10 dot bottled smoothies. Busy mornings and grab-and-go breakfasts are practically synonymous, so it's easy to see the appeal of store-bought smoothies. They seem like the best way to get what you crave in a pinch. But the time-saving drinks have a downside, compared to fresh-made drinks, most of them fall short on nutrition and are so calorie and sugar-filled that you'd have to spend hours on the treadmill to burn them off. 11. Milkshakes A long time ago, milkshakes had two ingredients, milk and ice cream. But as time went on, restaurants starting filling their shakes with everything from candy to chemicals. In fact, some of the lowest cal milkshakes in restaurant land still have over 800 calories, in a small. If you want something cold and sweet, you're better off indulging in a scoop or two of actual ice cream or making a chocolate or peanut butter filled smoothie. Instead, opt for healthier options such as water, herbal teas, unsweetened coffee, and low-calorie, low-sugar beverages to stay hydrated and support your overall health as you age. Remember to prioritize moderation and balance in your beverage choices, and consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice. I hope this video was informative and educational, and if you have any further questions, don't hesitate comment down below. And don't forget to follow us, hit the subscribe button, and give this video a thumbs up, because we have so much more exciting content coming your way. Thanks for watching and take care.